finally, the biggest problem is solved in VR 180 filmmaking. Wait, what is the biggest problem? You know the time when you are filming outside under the sun and you need to close the aperture to 16 to avoid clipping? Later on in editing, you find out the result image looks blurry and ugly? And you can never use the Canon C-Log3 native ISO of 800 which lead to losing dynamic range in both highlights and shadows? Well, the pro will tell you to use ND filters. But you cannot use a ND or a Mac box on a fisheye lens like this. Well, until today, meet Konglari magnetic clip-in filters for Canon RF cameras like the Canon R5, R5C, and even the Red V Raptor. In this review, I will show you why you absolutely need this for VR 180 filmmaking. How to put it on, take it out, and time-saving VR filmmaking tips that will save you some headaches in post-production. Let's dive right in. Hey, what's up everybody? It's your boy Hugh here. The restless ninja who constantly helping you to be a better metaverse filmmakers. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss knowledge that could make or break your VR filmmaking career. I don't think I need to tell you how important ND filters are. And it is even more important if you film with a fisheye lens because there is a sweet spot on the Canon RF 5.2mm f2.8 L to fisheye lens. The lens is at its sharpness in f5.6 and you need to stay between f5 to f8 to achieve the best image quality. If you shoot Canon RAW in C-Log3 cinema gamut, your minimal ISO is 800 before losing information. Plus the giant fisheye lens, you are letting a lot of light into your sensor. You need to cut them down. The Konari magnetic clip-in filters for Canon RF does precisely that. It is simple but has a great impact on your image quality. It's literally the difference between the pro look and the amateur look. The biggest worry of any ND filters is color cast and vignette. Let's take a look at the image produced by these ND filters now. On the left, we have the Konglari clip-in 3-stop ND filters. The aperture is at f5.6, ISO at 800 and a 180-degree sh shutter angle. On the right, we do not have any ND filter. The aperture is at f14, ISO also at 800, 180-degree shutter angle. Let's apply the Canon's official color grade on the log footage. As you see on the color chart, there is no color cast on the Konglari filter. The Konglari filters is 100% American make in New Jersey. The quality is always top notch. You can't tell there is an ND filter edit right in front of the sensor. This is exactly what we want. Let's zoom out to see the full fisheye VR 180 stitch result. You do not see any vignettes. Basically, the Konglari filter does not add anything to your image besides cutting down light. Beautiful. Now, let's zoom right in 300% on the image. The Konglari result look sharper in general than without an ND filter. Actually, this has nothing to do with the ND filter, but everything to do with the aperture of the camera. This phenomenon is known as diffraction. Basically, diffraction reduces the sharpness of your image, even if you are in perfect focus. Diffraction is caused by very little light going into your camera in a smaller aperture, higher f-stop. We notice diffraction start around f13 and gets really worse at f16 on the dual fisheye lens. To be fair, Deflection happens in any lens. It is a physical phenomenon you cannot avoid. So, 
the rule of thumb any photographer will know is to keep your f-stop below f13 to avoid deflection. Deflection affects your entire fisheye image. It is not a focus issue. So if you ever wonder why with the same camera system, some videos look softer than the other on the MetaQuest TV, this is exactly why. Okay, no more Professor Hugh here. If you feel like I refresh your college photography class, like and subscribe and drop me a thank you comment down below. I will also provide all the VR 180 footage, C-Log3 ungraded, free to download. Link in the description down below. I would recommend downloading them and take a look at them yourself to see how much better the image quality improvement inside your VR headset like the MetaQuest 2 right here or the MetaQuest Pro. Now, let me show you how to use the Konlari filter right here to achieve the best image quality for VR 180. Okay, now let me show you how to put the Konlari clip and magnetic filter onto the Canon R5C. First, if your camera was on, turn the camera on right now. Make sure to turn the camera off. You hear that sound, right? Meaning the sensor blades turn off. Now it's safe to pop your lens out. So go ahead and pop your Canon dual fisheye lens out safely. As you see the Canon dual fisheye lens right here. Let me just focus on you, on it so you can see it. Yeah, they have like a gelatin filter slot right here and they recommend that you, you cut your own filter and put it in here. That never work on set. It's so hard. Uh, and it just doesn't work. I, I would not recommend to do that. So don't do that. Instead, we're gonna use the, right here, the Konari sensor filter right here. Let me open it for you. Boom. So we have the three stop, six stop, and 10 stop ND for you to choose from. Even in California right now, I think three stop is good enough because we're also in the shadow. So go ahead and pick the three stop right there. So if you see the filter, hopefully you see it, make sure I focus on it. The little magnetic thing right here, it goes straight to the sensor part right here. So flip it right now, and just gently pop the thing in. It go right in, if you let go, it go right in because the magnetic thing is just sucking right in. The ND filter is slightly bigger than the sensor side, so it's a little bit loose right here. It's it designed to be, to be like that. So it's okay. So as long as it's on, it's on. It's not coming out. So now, last step is put the lens back on. Gently, obviously. Okay, now it's safe to point the camera. A, there's a B right there, uh, right here. By the way, this is the United Coleman tripod. I did a review right here. Very, very good tripod, so go check it out. So now we are ready to turn the camera on. Okay, so step one is we gotta go on to Canon RAW LT right here. It's the only way you can zoom in and zoom out of the Canon R5C. Uh, now, you go ahead and zoom in, hit the, magnetic, uh, hit the magnified glasses right here once, and tap twice, zoom all the way in. Point the focal chart behind us. It's actually, right now it's pretty focused. So we're just gonna mess up the focus again. So, if without the, so after you change the clip in filter, the focus point is changed. So this is my, I mark this point down. This is the uh, focus point without any filter in sensor. So obviously look at that, it's not focused at all. So by the way, uh, if you need help, uh, here is how you turn on the peaking, right here. So now we need to focus, look at the peaking line. It's a sweet spot somewhere around here. Look at that, that is focused right here, right now. So now we can turn off, sorry, the peaking. So you see that uh, now 
we can really like play with the aperture. So for the dual fisheye lens, the sweet spot of f stop is 5.6. Right now in 180 shutter angle in ISO 800. Why ISO 800? So uh, Canon R5C have, when it should raw, uh, have two deep ISO, ISO 800 and ISO 3200s. And you always, always want to shoot at a deep ISO to get the best no noise image out. So that is like a perfect setting right now. And only way to get that is using the Konani sensor filter right there to really control the lighting in a bright California daylight. So I can really like open up my aperture to 5.6. See? And with the ISO. So, uh, to my experience, the sharpest point of this lens is 5.6. Uh, it's around 5, F5 to F8. You never want to go away this range. If you, if you are too open, like around right here, the image got a little bit soft. If you're too close, beyond 8, the image also got pretty soft. And without the filter, usually in daylight, you shot an F16. But now we can really shot at f5.8. Now let me show you how to correctly remove the clip-in sensor filter. So first, make sure the camera is completely off. So you hear that sound, meaning the blade of sensor blade is closed completely. Now it's safe to pop the lens out. So go ahead and put on lens cap. Well, let me just show you. The lens cap on, now you're safe to pop the lens. As you see, right here, have the filter right here, the Konari right here. So go ahead and use the key, which come with the package right here, right here. And go ahead and gently touch the bottom part, lift it up. Now, sensor pop off, put it in the case. And as you see, when you turn the camera off, the sensor blade is closed, so your sensor is safe. So there is also an easy way to really like remove the clip-in filters. So let me show you. Let me just unlock my release tripod, unlock it. So hopefully you see it. Right now, the camera is closed. You open up your lens, put your lens down. So as you see, the filter is in it right now. So you can gently just do that. Do that, already see it. Now the sensor thing is, the sensor filters come off already. And see, they're still closed, so it's safe. So now you can put this back into your case to keep, obviously, the sensor, uh, keep the filter clean. Close it. Now you can just gently put your lens back and you, now you're ready to film in indoor environment without filters. The Konlari filters cause some cosmetic problems inside the touch point between the camera and the filter. There's no need to be concerned as it is not hurting your camera in any way. This is caused by turning and pushing the lens in and out while the sensor blade is closed. I do want to draw your attention here. If you are not okay with that, you might want to wait for another solution. Comment below and tell us your experience on this matter. Lastly, Konlari filter are currently on a Cyber Monday sale. So it is a great time to get them with the lowest price. This is actually why I got them as well. But if you are too late and miss the Black Friday sale, I will do my best to ask them to provide our viewers with some discount. No promise there though. Check the updated link down below for the latest deals. And if I help you to save some money, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell, and give this video a big thumbs up. I am working really hard for you, even during the holiday season here in US. So you can become a better filmmakers or camera operator. Remember, knowledge is power. Keep on learning and practicing. Tag me on Instagram if I help you and DM me for more questions. I would love to see you in person someday or see you in the metaverse.
Chao.